Hello pilots, and welcome to another edition of Sporty's Product Pirate Videos. My name is Doug, and today we have a special new product from Garmin. It's the D2 Mach 1 Pro Watch. Let's go inside and check this one out. The D2 Mach 1 feels like a captain's watch. It has heavy duty construction with titanium front and back casing, along with a scratch resistant sapphire lens. It is much thicker than traditional smart watches, so it feels really beefy on your wrist. You notice the back here has sensors along with a charging port and the cables included inside the box here. The lens measures a full 51 millimeters across, which makes it one of the largest Garmin has ever produced. Garmin makes really great tracking smartwatches, and the Mach 1 Pro is a combination of all of them. So you'll find a lot of the tracking features you find in the higher-end Garmin watches are all built into this. So you can track your runs, your walks, your hikes, and of course your flying activities. To do that, I'm gonna hit the start button and it'll go to its uh, flying recording. Hit it again and it records. While you're flying, it'll give you all this good information about uh, your flight uh, parameters and information. You can scroll through the different screens And it'll even do uh, blood oxygen levels and heart rate. There's a great companion app that goes along with this watch called the Garmin Connect app. It's super easy to use, has a fitness traffic tracker with lots of graphs, and it's really easy to access the settings of the watch through the Connect app. Right out of the box, the home screen that comes with the Mach 1 Pro has your METAR of your home airport on it. So you see here at uh, Sporty's Airport, the clouds are broken at 3,500 with 10 miles visibility. I can touch that and it'll bring up the full METAR. The color screen is sunlight readable. Whether you're flying, running, walking, hiking, it doesn't matter. The screen is always very easy to see. The Mach 1 has a built-in flashlight and by clicking the light button twice, I can activate the flashlight on the top. And as you can see, we can have it in red or in white. The battery life on the Mach 1 Pro is impressive. You can get over two weeks of life out of a standard charge. And then to charge it back up with the included cable, it happens very quickly. So in an hour or two, you can almost have a full charge on your Mach 1 and you're ready to go for another couple weeks. Now, if you're using the GPS and the Bluetooth and the other things, uh, blood oxygen sensor, that takes more energy. Of course, it's not gonna last the full two weeks but you're still gonna get a lot longer than what most other smartwatches are gonna provide you. Garmin has a lot of additional data available by hitting this menu button. I can then scroll up and down through all the different fields. In addition to calendars and notifications and music like other smartwatches have, it can also give me a lot of exercise stuff. How well I slept last night, pulse oximeter, heart rate, headings, altimeters, uh, even the sunset calendar there, which is kind of nice to have for us pilots concerned with night currencies. By touching one of those, it'll bring up more information. The engineers at Garmin built in a couple of shortcuts. If I want to see the next rad, I can just hold these two buttons together. It'll go right to the next rad screen with moving map. Right away, you can see this is a, a rainy day here at Claremont County Airport. Holding down this button will get you to the nearest airport. The bands are easy to switch on the Mach 1 Pro. Simply remove the old band by pushing down on this little button. And then you can put the silicon band on by just sliding it into the slot. The Garmin D2 Mach 1 Pro is the ultimate watch for flying and fitness, and you can find it online at sporties.com.